As we just stated, Tuani embattled Mayor Stevens Mkhalapa has announced he intends to resign from his position at the end of February. Mkhalapa, however, maintains that he did nothing wrong. For more on the story, uh, the former uh, executive mayor now joins us on the line. Uh, Mr. Mkhalapa, a very good morning to you. Can we confirm that you have resigned or, as you said, intend to resign? Thank you very much. This very good afternoon to the SABC viewers. Um, indeed, I can confirm that I intend to tender my resignation at the end of uh, February. Um, I took this decision with the best interest of the residents of Tuani. When I assumed office uh, last year, I said that I am coming to Chani with the sole purpose of service delivery. Now we have seen that over the recent months there has been disruptions to service delivery, there has been chaotic events in cancer which has impacted negatively on service delivery. And my sole purpose of coming back to my home city, to my city that I was born and bred, and to the city I live in was to assist with uh, service delivery. And if the events that have um, been happening recently have a negative impact on service delivery, I see it fit that for the interest of ensuring that there is continued service delivery to the residents of Tsani and for their interest, uh, it's better for me to step aside. In recent times, we've seen Democratic Alliance leaders resigning from government work, uh, which was then followed on by resigning from the party. What is, what, what is your thought process in this particular instance? Well, I think um, the sole purpose of where we are now and where I am now, it is a decision to ensure that there is uh, continued service delivery for the residents of Swani. It's not about uh, Stevens Mukhalapa, um, it's about the residents of Swani um, at this uh, point in time. So I think this decision has been made solely with the interest of the residents at heart and not with the interest of Stevens Mukhalapa at heart. You've said that it's a t it was a tough decision to make and uh, others would ask, were you forced to resign? Not at all. Uh, there was no force to, decide, to resign. Um, it was a decision that I took out of my conscience, out of my reflection, and out of ensuring that the primary interest of the residents of Tuani is at stake. My continued being in the office uh, creates a opportunity for political football to be played and, and it is hampering service delivery. Um, so if I step aside, it might mean that those self-interest might uh, dissipate. Um, so I do not want that my name to be dragged in that political football and much to the detriment of the residents of Tuani. What do, how do you hope you can add value in the interim? Well, what I was going to do is um, I still got a month to serve. Um, I will continue to do what I do best, which is to offer uh, services to the people of Sani and to ensure that we communicate on the positive work that we have done. I think there has been much negative communication over the last uh, uh, two to three months, and I think it's about time we turn that and we communicate positive things about what the city is doing. Um, there are immediate uh, things that need to be done. I've made commitments in the SOCA last year, State of the City Address, and I need to keep track and trace of where we are to ensure that we deliver the, what we said we will to the people of Tani. You've also stated that you did nothing wrong. What do you mm. mean? No, definitely. I mean, uh, the insinuation and as well as the perception is that I'm running away because of the disciplinary processes, the internal disciplinary processes. And I think um, you all know that uh, the FedEx and the FLC made pronouncement and um, 
obviously I will be facing the internal disciplinary process and it is just to break that perception that perhaps I'm running away because of the disciplinary so I'm saying no, that is not the case. Uh, I'm not running away. Um, it is in the best interest of ensuring that uh, service delivery happens to the residents of Tani, and uh, we avoid and we just uh, get rid of self-interest uh, because of at this point in time it's just political self-interest of political parties who just want to circumvent democracy and to launch a coup or a even you know uh, a takeover of the city for access to the city coffers um, and and nothing to do with serving the the, the interest of the people of Tani. I, I hear your insistence that your decision is mainly about service delivery to the residents of Tswane, but we cannot ignore that this is a political development. What are your thoughts about how the African National Congress in Tswane has handled this whole matter? Well, definitely the issue at hand it is that at the moment it is an um, unstable, uh, toxic uh, political environment. Um, I took the challenge and I took the risk when I left Parliament uh, last year after 10 years serving Parliament to come and assist in ensuring that we have service delivery. So clearly, um, in a sustained uh, action uh, of deliberate, uh, you know, ensuring that uh, my administration is always, uh, you know, disturbed in as far as delivery of the services is concerned. We've seen a concerted effort uh, by both the, the ANC um, and the EFF in recent months to try and disrupt everything with frivolous motion of no confidences, with ensuring that council doesn't sit to take decisions. So that is unsustainable because then you can't run a city like that. Uh, if a council cannot sit to ensure that it takes decisions, uh, um, then you've got a problem, and, and, and that is what was happening, because of then it means service delivery will be hampered. Uh, the administration staff uh, as well uh, takes a political posture because of the uncertainty, um, and that is not in the best interest of the residents of Tsani. So I will retaliate my point that the point is this, is that the decision I took was for the best interest of the residents of China. And I suppose the big question on the viewers' minds right now is, if you're so concerned about service delivery, why now? Why didn't you resign immediately when the story broke and it evidently had national interest in terms of the amount of interest that was in it? And I, I suppose to ask you as well, um, in, in terms of first-hand uh, uh, responses, did you Look, conduct um, romantic uh, 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 relations in uh, your workplace? Yes, there are uh, processes. Uh, South Africa is a constitutional democracy uh, with processes that need to be followed. When people make an allegation, when a story broke out, um, there are processes that need to happen to test the allegations. And that is why I took the special leave so that I could allow my party to do the due diligence and the processes of investigating the matter. And I, I'm sure that you have seen the FLC in the FedEx report that reported last week, which is uh, the process that I have made sure that the party engage upon. That is why I took the special leave. It was to ensure that the process gets to investigate and give an outcome, of which the outcome was communicated by FedEx last week. So now it is in, it's at the stage where there is that opportunity now to take a decision uh, moving forward. And it is quite very much unsustainable that from month to month, cancer should descend into chaotic orders. Services are disrupted. Uh, you know, the administration cannot focus. The officials cannot do their work. That is unsustainable. It, in fact, it affects the service delivery for the residents. So it was 
out of that conscious decision of seeing the effect of that because of my thinking was also to think that perhaps the situation can improve, we can be able to move forward and ensure that we deliver services to the people. But as it stands, the situation was deteriorating much to the detriment of the uh, services to the residents of China. All right, final two questions. Your relationship with your party leadership uh, in terms of are they giving you support, but also what's next for Stevens and Mukhalab? No, great. I mean, uh, my party has been very much cordial. Uh, I had a meeting with the party leadership. Uh, it's been very much cordial. I received the messages of support from the party leaders as early as this morning. So the relationship is cordial. And for Stevens Mukalapa, he's a professional. He's been in politics for 20 years. He's been a public rep for 20 years, 10 years in parliament, and 10 years being a councillor. Uh, he's a political scientist. Uh, he's a diplomat. So there are plenty of options for him um, as well. Uh, so um, he's been in parliament. Uh, so there are plenty of options for Stevens Mokhalapa. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning.